Hello, my beautiful earth signs, and welcome to your monthly reading here on Divinely Danica, filmed for Moonwood.co. So Moonwood.co is a platform, is a website that you can join if you are an entrepreneur who is looking to be health, body, mind, and spirit conscious, of course, because the spirit is all of that. We are a body in a spirit, not a spirit in a body, if that makes sense. I think it does. <laughs> so basically... This month's reading is going to be um, without this statue for you guys because that was for the air signs and the other elements are only going to be getting a Lady Fortuna. These readings are done for your success, your business, your career, your overall happiness and health of course because health is wealth. The first deck that wants to speak to you is the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So if ever you want to book a personal reading with me, all information is linked down below. I go by Divinely Danica on Facebook and Instagram. I also happen to sell gemstones and my other holistic healing services online on bgems.ca. You can also find that website's Instagram through bgems.ca. The full brand's name is Bewitching Gems, but I thought I'd make it shorter for you guys. Bewitching Gems also has its own YouTube channel where we talk about gemstones and I tell you how to look after your stones and what to use various stones for. Okay, Earth Signs, your energy is here. The Earth Signs will be watching this video. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. If you want to know all the signs in your chart, and their placements because this is important enter your information online in google just say zodiac chart calculator enter your your info in the appropriate form and you'll fall upon that delicious delicious information so if you are a sun moon rising or venus in the sign of taurus virgo or capricorn this video is for you gifts from god archangel sandalphin is talking to you he is also my archangel um, who communicates to me always through music. This is not the first time that music comes up as a thing for my earth signs. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So if any of you are talented with music, do not neglect that. Whatever it is that you're good at that might require your hands, pay attention to that. A skill of mine that I discovered recently, have this intuitive mm, about mixing herbs that I put into my smoking blends now. Mm. All the herbs that I smoke are also drinkable. So you guys will want to keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to be dropping those on the website bgems.ca very shortly. Bewitching Gems will also be hosting a giveaway that you can follow through Facebook or Instagram. All links will be down below, so stay tuned. And lastly, new sets will be dropped on the website to help you reach your path of ascension. Highest truth and good as fast as possible. My camera is saying that we've run out of space, so I'm going to go rectify that and be right back. Okay. So I made a bit of space. While putting the camera back, I hit the night shot button, which I didn't even know was there. And the thing starts to want to film like at night. So there's something about nighttime. Maybe you're very creative at night. Maybe you need to spend more time alone at night creating. I don't know earth signs, but let's find out. So who wants to speak to us? The Fairy Tarot by Radley Valentine, one of my newer decks. It's all, um, ooh, it's very reflective on the sides. It's also like such a big, thick stack that often when I open up the box, they come flying out. Do you see that? I'm actually going to be giving away a tarot set in my giveaway. Not one of these. Um, the Sacred Rose Tarot will be part of the giveaway, as well as some other really cute things. I'm going to be posting it on Instagram very shortly. Um, maybe I keep talking about the Virgos because maybe a Virgo is going to win. God knows. Okay, so 
Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Every time I speak to you, Earth signs, there's like especially messages coming through for Virgos. So either a lot of Virgos watch my videos or something. I have the song of one of my Virgo friends stuck in my head right now. And um, it's actually a French song, and it's called Mantia, which means lying. And the artist's name is Kairi. I will link her video down below. But she sings about um, somebody's negative attention, intentions towards her, just making her like morose and just ugh, and being happy to be able to get away from that. And despite being in a really negative situation, being able to still hold your head high and you come out still a person who is um, moral and who has not lost their value so the only card that came out was the king of winter card okay knowledgeable experienced fair-minded unemotional so this represents get advice from someone professional and objective public speaking unemotional relationships so this is definitely a vibe for business so any um a oh god any virgos i keep saying it it's so weird any virgos who are in business very particularly um uh, make sure that emotionally you're safe emotionally you're grounded emotionally you speak up and also keep in mind that business should not be entangled with a whole pile of emotion especially not negative emotion so pay attention to your emotions earth signs which other deck is going to speak to us i've got the tarot noir that's going to be speaking to you next um all these stacks no okay we're good gosh i you know i try to like pre-make piles but then as i read i just get shown where the information is really going to come from and my pre-made piles are worthless So maybe that's something that's happening right now to earth signs. I'm hearing again, especially Virgos, because Virgos are very big on planning. Capricorns too. But there may have been some... Ooh, this is another deck that has shiny sides. It's golden. So there may have been attempts at planning, you know, planning out your life, life plans, life goals, and things didn't go as planned. I'm hearing negative emotion. You have to pay attention to your negative emotions going through things and... Focus on your gifts from God because Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Taurus especially with the hands, Capricorn and Virgos, there's something, there's mind, there's logic, there's reasoning, there's, you've been given gifts like very smart, you know, probably you were good students or something, but Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus, very smart, very gifted, very talented. nine of wands so having accomplished a lot but knowing that there's still much to accomplish there's much left to do there's a lot of work left to do you're working towards the ten of wands which will be success completion accomplishment but you're getting there i'm noticing also that the king is holding his staff which sometimes that can be seen as a wand so there's definitely passion so your gift from gods your gifts from the gods have to do with your passions. There is a musical vibe around the Virgos in this pile. Your next card was, is the page of coins reversed. So I'm hearing with this, because what's interesting is that there's a coin in the field which also looks like water. So there's definite like, and you know, He's looking at what's in his hands, but his eyes seem very, like, very watery. It's like there's been a lot of crying. And at the bottom, it's not sure if those are waves or just hills. 
He could be in the ocean as well as standing on a grassy hill. But either way, there's been a lot of emotion. So there's been something lost. But everything gained as a result. A lot of knowledge gained. A new start. A new, a new start towards success. A new successful business venture. A way to be less stressed. I don't know why I've got that thing about the emotions. Listen to your recurring feelings. They are indications. You know, I wonder if I'd picked other angel cards, if we'd get the card that says that. There's a card that says that very specifically. But let's pick from the... Let me see. The Divine Feminine Oracle. Here we go. By Megan Watterson. The Divine Feminine Oracle. What do you want to say to us regarding our earth signs for business, success, and career? Business, success, and career. So focus on your gifts from God. You're getting a new start. Move ahead with the confidence of a king. Be logical and fair-minded in the things that you do. Not so much about emotion right now. You've been through a lot, but it's the definite end of a struggle. You're protected. Two cards. Ooh. Beautiful. Got one of my favorites. Kai, kai, kai. Ye mo ya olodo. Kai, kai, kai. You got Yemoya, the goddess of all that flows. And I kept saying that what was at the bottom of this card looked like water. You know, tears, letting go of an old venture, letting go of an old ideal or vision. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. I am an ocean of creative energy. And I spoke to you about working at night. Your creativity may be very, very, very at night. Your next card is the Black Madonna, the Lady of the Hermits, Our Lady of the Hermits. I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. Okay, this really makes me think of the song I was talking to you about that I'm going to link down below. A force de mettre ta cœur de haute, plus jamais je comprends les choses, avoir su, j'aurais pu, avoir su. J'aurais pu, tes intentions me rendent mousse. Heureusement, je garde la tête haute. And this is a queen holding a staff. And we got king. And we sing in that song, it's about holding your head up high. Nobody took you down. Nobody can take you down. And anything bad that happens to you, you transform it into an opportunity to love yourself even more. Let's pick, I think this is going to be our last card, the self-care oracle. So, Virgos, create. Tap into that creativity at night, under the stars, looking at the sky. Pay attention to what you think about, what you channel. What you see in your dreams can become reality. They're not given to you for no reason. There's limitless resources out there. There's endless stages for people to occupy. Do not pre-limit yourself ahead of time. I'm going to drink a bit of water. Maybe you should too. Virgos, again, Virgos in this pile, start bringing plants into your life. Plants are amazing reminders of everything we can accomplish. For my Capricorns, I'm seeing bring in plants that have red. Eat foods that have more red. For my Tauruses, very pink energy. So love. Do things that make you happy, like singing, dancing, wear pink, wear pink lipstick. Also, Tauruses masturbate. I'm seeing masturbate. Um, if any Tauruses are tempted to, or again, if you have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, and you're tempted to kind of have like a meaningless hookup or something, think about that 10 times. No way. Your self-care card is what I just finished doing. Hydrate. 
hydrate. And also what I'm seeing here is nourishment by being around plants, by being under the stars, by masturbating, dancing, by channeling, by meditating, chanting, drawing, playing your instruments. Listen to those impulses, the things that make your hands want to move. Do that. I'm paying it. I'm seeing everybody's hands right now. Somebody here holding a cup, your first card. He was holding a cup. Your second card. She's also holding a cup. Not your second, but your last card. She's also holding a cup. So do this. Stay hydrated. But also realize how many things around you are already there to nourish you all the time. And if you feel like you don't have enough of them, start bringing more in and start really as an earth sign. Very important for you to pay attention to nature. Try to spend time outside barefoot and drink water that's been infused. So I'm hearing put crystals in your water. The safest crystal to put in your water is clear quartz. It's just... Some crystals are not safe. Some are. Clear quartz is an amazing crystal to put in your water. Um, my little one takes a bath with the clear quartz every night. I always have a big amethyst geode on the edge of my bathtub and a clear quartz, a pretty massive clear quartz point. And he plays with that in his bath. And I'm so happy he does because it's very good. It's an amazing purifier. So I'm feeling like purification through hydration and, you know, even if you drink booze, you can put crystals in your booze, too, just to raise the vibration. Speak intentions into the liquids that you drink as well. Tell them you love them. Tell them you're ready for them to love you. Oh, I love you, water. Oh, you love me. Yeah, I love you because you love me. And then you love me because I love you. And just start getting kind of more into that, what I would almost call hippie-ish vibe connection with nature hugging trees there is a swirl of energy around his staff and behind he's in a forest and there's snow and there's an owl i mean like this symbolism is just endless on this card and he's in trance mode his eyes are closed he's really trancing in that energy so that's where you're going to get a lot of resourcing and inspiration and I can attest to that. I spent quite a bit of time just sitting outside today, looking at the bees, looking outside, looking at the flies, consciously earthing. That means going barefoot on a grass or soil and just really being there. Also been listening to my body today and accepting the emotions that I have. But, you know, what I'm noticing is that the water at the bottom here, his cloak being blue, her being surrounded by swirls of blue. And Yemoya being an ocean goddess. She's an Orisha. She is a Nigerian goddess. But um, the Orishas are not only revered and worshipped in Nigeria. She's goddess of a river in Nigeria. I forget the name of it right now. But there's a lot of swirling. So probably also if some of you can go swimming as much as possible, be by the water, meditate while looking at water. And of course, let yourself cry, even if it's during sex or after sex or after a bomb orgasm. Right now I'm in a state of mind. The last thing I'm feeling is even if you're fed up of being that emotional person, just admit that you are, especially Capricorns. Just admit that you are that emotional. Go with the flow. Go with the flow, my earth signs. Allow your soil to be nourished this month. This reading is especially pertinent for the month of August, but all manifestation or energy clearing advice is timeless. I hope that this will be helpful to you. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell if you want to see the upcoming videos. All elements, fire, earth, air, and water are covered here every month regarding your business and success and emotional or spiritual healing that is necessary. You can follow me on Instagram as Divinely Danica. I'm quite the goofball there. And, um, don't forget to check out my gemstone website. Lastly, do follow moonwood.co on Instagram to start, you know, kind of checking out this little community of entrepreneurs who are health, body, mind, and spirit, spirit, conscious.
my earth signs, and especially my Virgos, I wish you a very, very beautiful night and very magical dreams. Luck is on your side. Look for shooting stars. Or maybe remember that you are one. Bye.